what happens is when you eat this cheeseburger, milkshake, and pizza, things get sticky, sticky, sticky. Your platelets get sticky, your LDL cholesterol gets sticky, your white cells get sticky, and even your endothelial cells get sticky. So, <clears throat> now this, this <clears throat> is the one you've been waiting for. <laughs> this actually is uh, from Peter Libby from Harvard, and that's okay. Even though I went to Yale, let's get it right. <laughs> to orient you, in this blue area up here, sorry, right. uh, see if I can make this work right. In this blue area up here is where the w blood is flowing. And then you see these tiny little endothelial cells which separate the flowing blood from the, from the artery wall. Together, here in the left, what you're looking at is your LDL cholesterol, which is orange. It finds a crack, a fissure, an opening, and it migrates into the subendothelial space where it is no longer orange because Peter Libby from Harvard wants you to know that it's been oxidized by these nasty free radicals. And now what we have is a small, hard, dense, oxidized LDL particle, which the subendothelial space does not like, and calls upon the SWAT team. Our white blood cells, which here Peter Libby from Harvard has painted blue in honor of Yale, and we like that. <laughs> and here you see this SWAT team macrophage going across, going across, going across, gobbling up like Pac-Man, all these small, hard, dense LDL particles until we get all the way over to here. When we now do in medicine that we do so often, we change the name and is now called a foam cell. And the foam cell is truly the Darth Vader of this sequence of events. Why? Because the foam cell elaborates these nasty, nasty chemical substances that we call metalloproteinases. And metalloproteinases, stromelicin, elastase, collagenase, myeloperoxidase, those enzymes progressively, progressively they erode the cap over the plaque. And you can see right here, here's a plaque blocking the artery by 35%. And right here in the upper part of it, you see it's, a, it's torn because it's gotten so thin, the sheer force of blood whoosh, racing over it, tears it. Now that critical moment has occurred. You have ruptured your plaque. So in a matter of further minutes, we go over here to B, and now what do you see? You see this clot forming. And that clot is in and of itself self-propagating. So in a matter of further minutes, here we are, all the way over. And see what you're looking at. This clot has now completely blocked off the artery. All the downstream heart muscle here has been deprived of oxygen and nutrients. It's lost its viability, it's dying, and that's 90% of heart attacks. But the exciting thing is this. If I do my job correctly today, every one of you and your friends and relatives can make themselves heart attack proof. How are you gonna do that? You're gonna make yourself heart attack proof, not with inventing another pill, not with inventing another procedure like a stent, not with another operation like a bypass. You're gonna make yourself heart attack proof and stop this cascade of events where things will not get sticky. You'll not have, you'll not have migration of your LDL cholesterol into the subendothelial space. You'll have no SWAT team. You'll have no foam cell. You will not thin out the cap over the plaque. You will strengthen the cap over your plaque 
If you strengthen the cap over your plaque, it cannot rupture. If you cannot rupture your plaque, you have made yourself heart attack proof. With, with your new biochemistry, which has been changed by whole food plant-based nutrition.